Hey guys, welcome back to Isa Fashionista. So today we're doing a whole brand new video. If you guys don't know me, please, hi, my name is Isa. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you guys don't forget every time I upload a new video. Okay, so today we're doing, I am, you guys are getting, you guys gonna see me getting ready for a Halloween block party. And this Halloween block party is tomorrow. Well, the day you guys are watching it is today. I'm there right now. I'm over there right now. And I just decided to, you guys can see this video. It's water. You guys can see this video on how I get ready. You guys can see my costume, the makeup I do, and stuff like that. So let's just get on to the video. Okay, so first we're going to start with primer. And the primer that I technically always use is the Clinique primer so. okay now that my view blend is all washed and clean <sighs> but first we're gonna start we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna start with the eyes first while the um, primer sets. So, what I'm gonna do with the eyes, and I'm gonna use this palette, the Yes Please palette from ColourPop. And the, when you take out the packaging, it says cute as fuck, as cute AF, which is cute as fuck, from ColourPop. This is the, the shades. I know it's super, super dirty. <laughs> I clearly do not take care of it. But like, I use it a lot, so that's what's worth it. Okay, so, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this because basically, cops don't really use, I'm gonna be a cop for Halloween. And for this, they don't use that much makeup. So basically, what I'm gonna do is use this all over the, <sighs> sorry. Use this all over the crease, and then the center and all over the lid, it's gonna be this shade of gold. So you guys gonna see, and I'm just gonna point to them and that's it. <laughs> okay. Let me clean. Let me get a, br a blending brush. Okay. Here's my blending brush. Oops. See, sorry. So first, I prawn an eye primer, which is this concealer from Wet n Wild, all over my eyelid. So everything can blend. Very good. So then, with my beauty blender, I just go like this. You can also do it with your finger if you want. Okay, now it's all primed. Hmm. Let me clean this brush really fast because I don't have time to clean it. I didn't have time. I'm so sorry. I'm going to use this first shade right here so I can set my concealer that I have in my eye. the other eye I think this shade is called bling or full zip I don't know how and what angle does it go I don't really uh, sorry about and what angle does it go I don't really know I'm so sorry so I think it's full zip or bling I don't know <laughs> so the first one right here the first pink one Now that my eyes are primed and ready to go, I mean, do you guys want me to zoom you in real quick so you guys can see what I'm doing? It's gonna look really bad. 
so let's not do that and sorry the light is changing i am filming right in front of my window so there's gonna be a lot i a lot of lights changing and stuff like that so So the first shade we're gonna go with the lit, with the in the crease is this shade right here, this brown shade right here, and I think it's called uh, Coughed. If I'm reading it right, or if not, is Note to Self. I don't know. Just that shade. And I just get this much. I go like that to the thing, and then move away. I just put it in my eye. The that if you want to do the angle line, don't worry. You can do that with the makeup wipe right after you're done with the eye. So the reason why I'm doing my eye first because I don't want any fallout, and this thing has a lot of fallout. Okay, we're going back. In. Right when you're done with this eye, then you just clean it good. So this is how my eyes are right now. Okay, so I raised it up way too big because that's the main. I don't have a, that much of a big eye lid, so. I decided to go that big, but don't worry. When you actually put a, like a highlight above, under your eyebrow, then it's all gone. So it's perfectly fine. Then we use this flat side of the brush right here. I'm using my Anastasia brush, Anastasia brush from the the ones that bring for the palette. I think that's literally the best dual blush that I mostly use all the time. It's literally the best. Okay, so not wet, but you should just go like this too. And this shade right here, gold shade. And then you just put it all over the lid. Let me get a little more closer to my mirror. This is still. Let's see the mirror. I'm using this mirror right here. So it has lights. Oh my goodness. So pimented. So in love. Let me pack it again and more at the ends because I didn't get all of it. Okay, so then. Oh. Uh, see what I mean by a lot of fallout of glitter? So I'm going to go back to the first shade we used, this brown one, a little bit of it, so I could blend everything out. Now, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did to this side, to the other eye. I am right-handed, so I'm sorry if I'm blocking you guys while I'm doing this, but I think you guys get the point. Now that the eye is already done, I'm going to do a lower lash line later on, but right now, I'm just going to start with my face. So, let's just get to it. I set this off aside, because we are basically done with the top eye. Just a little more con uh, primer because I think once you wipe it off a little bit, it comes off. So I'm just going to put a little bit more over it. A little bit more on my forehead. Okay. Okay, so I like dewy foundations because I have a dry skin. So I like my skin to look dewy, look more highlighted. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal 
fun, um, 24 hour foundation up to 24 hour from foundation is a glow, um, glow and is a 25 I'm gonna shade 25 natural beige Let's shake it up first okay and then I put it in the back of my hand how much do I need I think that's all I need for now okay so then with my beauty blender and my finger I put dots Oopsie, gave me my mirror moved. So then I cleaned up on my hands with the wipey and my fingers. And then I just blend everything in with my beauty blender. But you guys can use any foundations you guys want. It's really up to you, not up to me. It's just really um, on your skin. It just really is on how your skin, you want your skin to look like. So, I I think while I'm doing this makeup uh, um, is why I'm getting you guys ready for you. Uh, my bad. While I'm getting ready with you guys, I think I'm going to talk more about myself. So, why I started a YouTube channel, why I decided to do this so I was watching YouTube videos by the time I was in senior year of high school uh, my first YouTuber was first Meredith Foster if you guys don't really know her yet if you guys don't know her you guys should follow her subscribe to her because she is the reason why I started liking YouTube videos and then I found a couple more purchases more um, YouTubers and I decided to subscribe to a bunch of them that she has are her friends so then I described to her to after that was Alicia Marie and that's how I found way more and the reason why I really started this YouTube channel is because I'm in love with makeup I'm in love with fun with fashion I'm in love with clothes and the career that I am doing I am studying for in college I'm in Miami Day right now and I'm studying fashion marketing and I really wanted to like do videos on the side, get as a hobby, because I love making videos. I love the makeup, love how people get so interested about it, stuff like that. So then I get my, oh, hold on. I get my Tarte Shape Concealer in the shade light medium. So I started my YouTube channel three years ago, I believe. Yeah, April 15th I started years ago and um I have come a long way to like using my laptop as a camera to like using now an actual camera which I am still obsessed that I got a camera I still can't believe I got one like the camera that I got is wasn't really expensive okay so I'm gonna side chart so I'll get started this YouTube channel and I started noticing I didn't get have enough subscribers so I didn't really care about those subscribers I didn't really care how many views I got I didn't really care I was just doing it for myself to do it as myself for the hobby I really, really didn't care who watched who knew so then my parents found out my parents found out that I had a YouTube channel because I started licking it in and they started showing it to everybody I hate hearing my voice the way I talk, I just can't hear myself. I don't know why, I just can't. Every time I'm editing a video, I edit, but I see it at the end, and I'm just there like, I think I don't have to see it again, because it's like, all good. But later on, I started, that's my first when I started a YouTube channel, I, I hated my voice, the way I was talking to you guys. I was like, hi, like that really shit voice, which I hated it, I, saw, I thought I sounded so fake. To you guys, which really I shouldn't do. Then I get by my bye bye um powder from Patrick Star setting powder. I think I don't know what it's called. What he calls it. Okay. So I get back into it. So 
so then yeah my parents found so i don't like hearing my voice but then later on i got used to it of listening to my voice because you have to listen to your voice half the time when you're what well, editing a video so that's why i got used to it after so um years pass i told my boyfriend not years pass months pass i told my boyfriend oh i did it i started a youtube channel at first he was supported of course because he's a supporting boyfriend my parents were supported and um, all my friends were supported my sister made fun of me <laughs> on my first video because the first video didn't really have like oh uh, like hi my name is this and that like the way people have their first videos me i just started doing a video off the bat like ideas for valentine's gifts which is my first video you guys could check it down you guys could check it down down below so <sighs> i started my youtube channel i started growing now i have 58 subscribers and i have 5,000 5,100 or something views i think i believe overall my first my most um viewed video is the one by my iphone like what's on my iphone 7 plus which I was like, what? Really? But, and then I had this other video, but my friend, uh, my boyfriend's friends were making fun of him for having it, for me, ha for him doing it. So basically what he did was that he answered some questions, he did a boyfriend tag with me, and if he got a question wrong, I would have to put makeup on his face. So, I put makeup on his face on the questions he got wrong, and I deleted it because one of his friends were making fun of him, and I didn't like that they were making fun of him, so he, I decided to delete it because I was like, let me just delete it. So, I am not embarrassing my boyfriend on this channel anymore because people are so mean to him, his friends are so mean to him, so I am not doing that anymore. I'm just having him normally. So... After that powder, I go to blush. So, I get my blush. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I dropped it. I get my blush. Blush. Um, <laughs> from here, from You Spicy. So now he knows why I'm taking forever to answer him. So then... That's really why I started my YouTube channel. I'm using the Bobbi Brown blush. It's a shimmer blush. I love this blush, but I just use it a little bit because it's very pigmented. As you can see, it's very pigmented. Yeah. So then I just dot, 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 dot. Right. So then... I just go bronzer. I'm gonna get my ton for brush. You guys can use any blush or anything. I just can use whatever you guys have. You guys don't have to buy what I have. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, where's my bronzer? My pixie. You see, I use like um drugstore on um drugstore products too. I love drugstore products more than um high end products, but. I got the high-end products for free, so might as well use it. <laughs> My friend was giving them away, so she gave it away to me. So then, um, where was I? So, yeah, I started my YouTube channel. I started this thing, like, uploading twice a week when I first got it, because I couldn't do it, um, every once a week, how every youtube video youtuber does it how they set up their thing how like i know alicia marie does it once a week she uploads once a week and i couldn't do that because i had homework i had exams and stuff like that so that's why i didn't really have how much content my youtuber my subscribers i lost a bunch of subscribers because of that and then later on i started getting them all back because during the summer I start uploading like every single once a week because during the summer I don't have classes I don't take classes during the summer so I did it like that and 
So, and now that I have more space in my, I have more space because I barely am taking classes. I'm taking five classes, but like, I made sure on my schedule how the way I could do my videos, so I could continue doing it once a week. So even though my uh, my banner says every single two weeks, just bear with me. I have, I do have exams. I do have a lot of homework. Bear with me. <laughs> I still have to edit this video. I think I'm filming this video today. I'm editing it today. And I'm uploading it tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about it. So, uh, right now we're gonna go back to my eyes, back to the, this palette right here, and basically I'm gonna get a different brush, and I'm gonna get um. This blush right here. This is a 16 U Spicy brush right here. Is it going to fall? Does I feel like it's going to fall? No. Thank God. Okay, so I get the shade that we first used. So that's the reason why I started a YouTube channel. It also would um, helps me out with my fashion a lot. So I have a lot of contact and um, skills and stuff like that. So YouTube is really good for me. It's going on really good for me right now. I still have a little bit of subscribers still, um, but I still get a lot more views. But I don't really care. I'm just doing it for me, I'm not doing it for the money <laughs> whatsoever. <sighs> so, but hopefully later on in life I'll get paid for it. But right now I really don't care. So I study fashion marketing in Miami Dade. I start the Wilson campus, and hopefully in the summer I start it. So. I put that shade on both eyelids. Let me see if I can get more on this eye. On the brown shade. That's basically what I'm doing on the lower eye because then the gold. Probably I could put the gold in the center, but that's gonna be weird. So I get this flat brush, skinny brush number nine, and I get yeah, let's just do it with it. Let's just see how it looks. In the inner corner, move down, blending it more. So it looks pretty good, actually. Okay. So, that's where I am now. I'm studying fashion marketing in Miami Dade. I am 21 years old. I am living my best life as a 21 year old ever. Could I turn 22 on January the 16th, so a year from now? So that's how my eyes look right now. So then I move into my right now, right? We are done with the eyes, we are done with the makeup look, but we are continuing with my eyebrows. Where's my eyebrow pencil? Right here. So the eyebrow pencil I use is L from uh, L. And it's in the shade Natural Brown. So first I do is use a scooby brush my eyebrows. I haven't done my eyebrows over three years. They don't grow. And I've been trying. They grow but really, really slow. And my eyebrows are really thin and I wish I had them thicker. That's just not the case for me. Okay. So basically what I do with my eyebrows to make them the way I want them is just put a line straight here. And then angle. Angle. And then I just follow the line. Okay. So I may start in the summer. New, I'm going to start in the summer so I get 
continue in the way I wanted and hopefully I'll graduate with my hopefully I'll graduate with my already with my fashion classes and stuff like that. So I just start in this new university in the spring. <sighs> Sorry. In the spring. And then I can have my bachelor's and stuff like that. So I have let me get sidetracked. I had this boyfriend named Santiago. We are high school sweethearts. I mean, we're yeah, high school sweethearts. We first started dating in freshman year. We I broke up with him because he didn't know how to kiss. I was that naive of a person. But then he never stopped loving me. It's already a bit thicker right now, like compared to the difference. Um. He never stopped liking me, so I, ne I guess needed it. like the feelings were still there. So then, um, later on in senior year, I started to like him again. And I was friends with him in senior year. And I was like, my friends decided, since I wanted, I had no day to prom, my friends t told him basically, I what the hell did I do? Uh, just do that. <laughs> okay. Back to what I was doing. Okay. So, um, my friends basically asked him, go like, yo, why don't you ask her to prom? And then he goes like, how does she want to be asked? Um, and they're like, why don't you do like this grand gesture and blah, blah. And from everybody in the whole school. Okay, sorry guys, I had to stop it and continue. So where was I? Okay, so then he did this grand gesture he did in front of the school. Um, he asked me out in front of the school about he did this whole entire poster says, "Would you go a problem with me, dear Isabel? Would you go a problem with me?" And I said yes. And then when I said yes, I hugged him and I kissed him. Nobody suspected that I was going to kiss him, neither did he, nobody knew that. We were just out, everyone thought they were going out as friends to prom. And that's what he thought. Little did he know, later on, school continued, whatever. I mean, class continued. It was during lunch break, he asked me prom. And then later on, at the end of the day, he asked me, do you want to be my girlfriend? Do you want to start dating again? And I said, I'll think about it. Well, really, there was really nothing to think about because I clearly liked him. I really knew my relationship, but I just wanted him to see if he could wait. So basically what I do to clean in, to clean the messages, that, the mistakes I did, I did. I basically go with my concealer, Tarte Shape Concealer again. I clean it off, make sure I don't have that much stuff. So then I go over... I roll the way I wanted on both sides and I clean it. I bend it with my beauty blender and then I set it and that's it. Okay, so then the next day on uh, April 16th, he asked me out. I said yes. And he said, Yes to what? Yes, I'll be your girlfriend. And then that's when we started dating on April the 16th. 2015 and we have been dating ever since we're now three years going on four years in April and it's going good really good actually I didn't know I didn't really think I will ever go back with him and like if you asked me in freshman year would I date him again I'll probably will have told you no <laughs> so I'm actually really happy that this really happened to me and we're still dating, still dating going on strong um, so yeah he supports me that I have a YouTube channel he really doesn't care as long as I don't embarrass him in my videos anymore <laughs> so after I'm, we're done with my eyebrows I move on to highlight so, the highlight I think I want to use is this in a nude, Crest's nude, pure nude highlight. I love this highlight. It's really only four bucks at Ulta. So, 
If you guys like it, the way it looks on me, just go ahead and buy it because it's four bucks and it's worth it. Okay. So I got this blush from Morphe. So then he's a mechanic. Um he's a mechanic. He works at Old um Kyoto. <laughs> he works at um Acura. And we both live in Miami. So then I get this clear. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I don't even like to use falsies. I don't even know how I put them on. So I like, but you guys could try falsies. I like better mascara. Okay. And I get the Voluminous um, Paris um, Luminous Lash Paradise mascara. But I use the base first, so it's gonna stay on for a really, really long time. And the base is colored white. So when I did this, first in front of my boyfriend, and he didn't use this mascara, he got creeped out. Because he goes like, uh, it's white. And I'm like, I know. And he's like, are you going to leave it like that? I'm like, no. <sighs> like, relax. I know. It's a base. Don't worry. <sighs> okay. And now I go back to the actual mascara. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should do it a black eyeliner or should just do white eyeliner. I don't know what I'm to do. I don't want to do a wing liner because I didn't want to mess up the gold. I need to buy a new mascara. This thing is super dry. God, this video is going to be so long. I am so sorry for you guys that this video is so long. But the I'll try to put it as fast as possible on some parts that I'm not talking to you guys. By the parts that I am talking to you guys and talking about my life and who I am and why I started my first YouTube channel. Stuff like that. And hopefully I'll, I answer some of your questions. Like, who is she? What is she doing a YouTube channel and all those questions and stuff like that? <laughs> mm. Okay, my mascara is put on, and I think I'm gonna go off with my black eyeliner from ColourPop. And I think I'm gonna iron my hair for the costume. I'm gonna be wearing a hat, so it doesn't really matter what I do to the top of my hair, it's just the bottom. Mascara on my lower lashes because then I look like a spider. I look like a spider so I don't like to do that if you like guys like it go ahead no one's judging you I just don't like it uh, so then I get the wipey the makeup wipey that we used to have I take a I don't go from the lips mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then I got this chapstick that I have right here from EOS. <sighs> mm -hmm. So mostly cops, what they wear is on their lips is mostly red. So I'm using this from a flower company, and is this um scarlet letter? Is in the shade scarlet letter and. It's a miracle matte lip made in the US. Mm -hmm. I got it from Ulta. It's from the flowers. It, the the line has gone off, like the name of the the brand has gone off. But yes, it's 
flower from a brand flower you guys can trust me on that I love this lipstick I really do but it smells like play-doh <laughs> My makeup is done. The makeup is done. So then I brush my hair. Since my brushes, my hair is already straight. I basically I blow dry it yesterday. So makeup is my hair is already straight. So I was just brushing it the way I wanted to be brush under. So then I'm putting the I'm putting the costume for you guys. So this is basically the makeup look. Hi, I'm going. Now let's just get on to the end of the video and you guys can be see me wearing my costume. So let's just get on. This is my costume, my cap. I'm be supposed to be wearing fishnets for my about to, my camera's about to die right now, so and let's not let that, that happen. So I am a cap for Halloween, you guys can see. So if you guys like this costume, please if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and I love you so much for you guys next time in the next video. I hope you guys like this video. So if you guys want me to do more Get Ready With Me, I will gladly do it for you guys. So see you guys next time and please don't get a ticket and drive safe for Halloween. Be safe. Okay, that's the tripod you guys are on. That's how I'm looking. If it's focused, that's how it, how it is. So let's just get ready with me yeah